And welcome back, everyone. Welcome back ooh, to the lower semifinals of the Elite 2024 November Finals. Here we are. We already have our first finalist. It is going to be the Korean story player in Shin. And we are here to determine is it going to be a ZVZ Finals or a ZVT as spawning in the bottom left hand corner of El Dorado. We have the South Korean, sorry, the South Korean Zerg player, the Red Zerg, representing Talon Esports. It is dark. And spawning in the bottom right hand corner, we have his opponents. We have the South Korean Terran player, the blue Terran rep representing Shopify Rebellion. It is Byun. Here we go. They were bantering. <laughs> they were bantering before we went live. Uh, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> so both Dark and Beyond, they're on cams. Uh, for those who are curious, they are on cams. And uh, they are, of course, they, they can see each other while they're playing uh, as well. And they were actually saying, uh, uh, Dark was actually saying, wow, Beyond, you look old. <laughs> uh, and Beyond was smirching, Papi was smirching. <laughs> They were bantering with each other. Uh, Dark, he's he's working like a bit of a, a bit of like an old school like Japanese like like Japanese like man bun sort of sort of look right now. Um, she does look really cool. Ah, oh, just really rounding out that that's that look that he's going for. Ah, let's go with the goatee. I mean, <laughs> but now though we are going to be settling in. We are going to be settling in. We do have our initial openers uh, again to make it this far. Dark took down Clem, and we did see Bion taking down his. Protoss opponent in trap as well. Oh boy. Here we go. But uh, yeah, it's been really cool. Uh, Dark, he's, he's growing out his hair. He's growing it out. Let's go. Uh, behind this Dark, opening up Gasses, uh, by the way. <laughs> Gasses opening here by Dark. Very commonly, Dark does cut corners as many as he can, going for a hatchery into a hatchery. Oh, I should say hatchery into pool into a third base all before gas is here very quick third very greedy build by dark And we'll see if Bion can punish it uh, as dark is going for a delayed gas What does this mean? This means that dark most likely will skip link speed and will embrace roach production now We saw him do this against Clem on uh, I believe it was whispers of gold where dark did open gasless and if you remember the big difference in that in that game in that build is that dark did eventually get into link speed and that led into a link ravager all in so if dark does get link speed that is a tell that something is wrong and that something is amiss as reaper does dance with the links behind this beyond meeting greed with greed going third cc before starport but third cc on location at the gold base of all bases oh my god so we see dark being greedy he is scouted he's confirmed beyond is aware and again he responds with the gold let's go Oh my god. We are keeping up with each other. We're keeping up with each other so far. Beyond still being active. I think the chat is... Oh. <laughs> I think the chat is catching up. <laughs> Do you love to see it? As Reaper does pull away, it does get the hell out of there. Is going to be pulling back. And again, we do have our Hellions to reinforce behind this. It's going to be a third TC into a Starport, into a down swap. This should be for Banshees. So Banshee production on the horizon. Hellions moving out. Reaper moving in. Now the Hellions, they run into the front door that is the Queens. Again, this is why Dark can get away with this, especially on a map like El Dorado. You can get away with this Gasless Opener because this third base is safe. Like, how do you harass the third? The, the Reapers can't really hop over any kind of wall off. The Hellions can't gain access to this area either. There's only one point of defense, and that is this ramp. Just the one point here to defend. So Dark, he just has a hold here, and then he's fine. This goal base is safe to sound. Now behind this, uh, gas is being mined, and Dark should be taking into Roaches. Roach tech should be on the way here for Dark. Takes down a Hellion already. Good pickup. Hellion does go down. Extra Rax is on the way. Meanwhile, Dark, he does dive in, gets a full scout. It does confirm the 3 1 1 setup, gets eyes on the two E bays as well, is fully aware of the build, fully aware of the tech, and is getting ready for the Banshees. Back at home, uh, Queens are getting in position. 
no spores yet, but they should soon be there. We go, spores are on the way. Hey, Dark, even long distance mining from the gold. Oh my god, I just realized just how heavily he joined up. Dark, calm down. Getting up to 59 workers. Spore on the way here at the fourth, or at the third. Getting a fourth base as well. I like how Dark, he isn't even taking the gold as an expansion. It was just long distance mining. <laughs> Crazy. As Heli as they get into the mineral line, they get two drones. Not bad, but they shouldn't get much more than that. Yeah, this is cleaned up by the queens. Hellions, they confirm the lair timing, and we have confirmation. Ooh, it is not Roaches. That is Ling Speed on the way. Baneliness as well alongside the lair. It's going to be Ling Bane from Dark. Um, This wasn't too early, so it's not like this is going to be an all-in. Not by any means. Dark is just saturating and embracing Ling Bane production. Meanwhile, Bion gets away with the gold. Checking the vision here for Dark. Dark, he has not scattered. Dark, he has not seen anything across the map outside of the main. So he doesn't know that even though Dark has been greedy, Bion even more so. Rushing into the gold base is just a really solid way here for Bion to keep up with the greed of Dark. If not exceed it. Benji goes down. Brutal loss there for Bion. Benji does fall. Uh, if Dark had gone Roaches, you know what he, you know what he could do? Three Ravagers. Even one Ravager here to deny mining. To deny mining, to bile, and to just attack this mineral line. Alas, because of the Link, of, of the Link Bane, Dark can't do that. He can't really harass, he can't really deny any kind of base mining here. Beyond does move out. Beyond, he moves out, he does hit the gold. So go base, I'll stand strong. Dark, he's holding on. Beyond stepping in. Ooh, getting a queen. Not bad. Queen goes down. Beyond rotating over. Dark, he cannot keep up. Again, this is the downside here of trying to defend both uh, sides of the map. Is you have to go all the way back to the natural to actually gain access to the north, to the top side or the southern side. So Beyond taking advantage of his movability. He has a massive amount of bio. Dark trying to keep up. And he will be forced to cancel. It does cancel, does deny those veilings. Dark retreats. Beyond gaining ground. Dark, he's up against the wall here. So much creep going to be receding. At the same time, Hydras, they get eyes on the goal base. They will somewhat delay mining. Beyond, he will move out with a secondary drop. Gets the Hydra. Stims on in. Uh, Dark has to respond. And can he split up his army well enough to defend? Can he split up? So Beyond attacking both bases at once. Oh! Oh my god! Massive connections! Beyond does take the bailings to the face. Good fight here for Dark. Now Dark can focus on that northern push. Can and he will. He collapses on the Marines. Star steps forward. Marines are going down. Decent kind of here by Beyond, but he's going to be losing everything regardless. Tank goes down. Metamech as well. And Beyond, sorry, Dark has momentum. He can keep pushing. Beyond getting to a fourth base. But Dark is almost maxed. He's almost maxed out at this point. Rallying everything over. Hydra's once again, they tonight mining at the gold. Dark close to maxing. Hive is done. Getting into Adrenal. Still coming to mass Ling Bane Hydra. Uh, there's no Hive tech yet, really. Like, there's no Ultras. There's no Vipers. There's no Lurkers yet. Uh, Vipers will be a very nice addition, though. This is what I will say. As Bion is going to be out trading Dark. Dark, though, he breaks through. Coming, coming in for this round. Doesn't quite get it, though. Meanwhile, drop here towards the north. And Dark is ready. Zones it away. Also in the back. 
mind just getting ready. Ooh, massive connections. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Beyond trading very efficiently. And Dark, now he's coming in for the surround, but uh, at this point, Beyond, he can just lift. Can't just pick up. Once again, massive night connections. Oof, God, so many links are falling. This has not been efficient. Mainly, they trickle on through. They get into the mineral line. The SCVs are going down. Five links of economic damage. It's nine SCV kills, but Beyond, has a full mining base here. No planetary. So greedy. His third, his fourth, and... Hey, even his fifth base. Okay, the fifth base is going to be planetary, but the others are orbitals. Ay, ay, ay. Just so much greed. I mean, at this point, I mean, I feel like this base should be an orbital as well. Like, why not? Like, where's collapsing in? Ooh. Takes down the wooden mines. Much better fight here for Dark, but Beyond is recovered. Beyond is holding his own. Dark pulling back. Yeah, Beyond, you can just very easily just hit this little expansion. Dark has to go the long way around. Base falls. Dark trying to respond. Uh, does go for the center goal base. Okay. Does go for the center expansion. Lurker's going to be morphing in. Now we have the answer. What was I for? It was four lurkers. Morphing on both sides. Should push off towards the north. Lurkers are somewhat in position, but they have to borrow. They have to borrow. Green rolling in. Beyond just rallying across the map. Green Bay trying to keep up. Oof. Mind shots, up. Mind shots going up. And so far, Dark, he's holding on. Did I mine at the gold? Lurkers are doing well for themselves. They are doing well. Jeez, so many lurker shots going up. Oh, it's called Lunge. <laughs> Lunge is being researched. Did they change the name? From muscular swelling or whatever? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, spine shots going off. The prop is completely shut down. Jesus. Beyond wasn't quite paying attention. And Dark is maxed out. I mean, both players are. There's a lunge diving in the army. Beyond cutting back. Up. Oh, on the railing. Does he connect? Lunges once again. Ooh, nice target firing here on the bailings. They don't quite connect. Beyond takes the fight, forces back the Hydras. You can see Dark forced to get the hell out of there. Does pull back. Beyond is holding his own. Gobe still could have get up and running. Nidus into the main. I think the main army. Mind shot going up. And it looks like Dark, he will overwhelm. Barely will take down all these all these Marines. Massive lunge forward. And Marines going down. Medivacs as well. Massive pickoffs. Nice room into the main. Yali does notice. But it may not matter. Ooh, massive mine shots. Alas, the base is being broken. Bailey's they go for the main army. They go for the SCVs. 12 SCV kills. 12 workers go down. And it looks like Beyond will have enough to force this back, but still, that's a kill in the CC. GG gets called, and Dark will take game number one. GG. Dark will take a lead in the series again. A very intense game one. Again, we got to see the features of the map itself. Speaking of, speaking of, um, again, it's just so awkward to expand and so awkward to, I should say, defend both halves of the map at once. Uh, being pulled left and right. Beyond was quite successful in doing so. Likewise, I do appreciate that Beyond was able to rush into the goal base as quickly as he did. Was able to maintain his economy. But once Lurkers came into the mix, that's when Beyond really lost a lot of momentum. He just His drop play was starting to fail. Wasn't really getting much value. Wasn't really uh, distracting his opponent. Dark got a better handle of thing, better handle on things, and GG, GG, well played, very well done there by Dark. Dark takes a lead, and now it is going to be Beyond's map of choice. Up next.
Whispers of Gold. Here we go. We have our next map. We are going to be loading into Whispers. And again, considering the aggressive nature of Beyond, this map does make sense. If Beyond were to be more assertive here in Game 2. Would it make more sense? Again, it's not even that late here in Australia. I mean, it's midnight, but um, I guess the fatigue of casting in the morning and and not sleeping in between is it's, it's catching up. It's catching up. Again, I'm very tempted to just spend the entire day tomorrow in bed sleeping. Very tempted. Just to adjust uh, for Home Street Cup. I mean, it would make sense. Ah. Edge all day. Let's go. <laughs> Until then, though, we are getting into our next game. We're going to be loading into Whispers of Gold. And spawning in the bottom right, sorry, in the top right-hand corner of Whispers of Gold, we have the South Korean Terran player currently down in the series. We'll see if we can bounce back. Representing Shop of Rebellion, it is Byun. And spawning in the bottom right-hand corner, we have his opponents. We have the blue Zurg player. Zach Green Zurg representing Talon Esports. It is dark. There we go. we go as we do see dark actually going for a more aggressive start pool first okay you have my attention it's gonna be a perf pool first build here by dark the goal here is to make a wave of around six links maybe up to eight move out across the map and delay the expansion disrupt the initial opener of Bion, get a kill in the scv and maybe get a couple of extra worker kills as well i mean best case scenario is to cancel the expansion but that's that's asking for a bit much. Ooh, as Bion opens up Marine first. Interesting. Marine first opener out of Bion. Rax into CC. Here we go. As for now, here we go. The links they move out, as I did mention. Their goal here is to delay the CC. It is Marine first, which means the Marine can go down. He wants it. He wants a Marine. Links have arrived. It's going to be how many links? Six. Six links here for Dark. Oh. Boys are being pulled. So far, so good. The Marine is under fire, and the Marine is going to be shut down. A massive pickoff. Marine falls. Two more Marines on the way. It was Marine into Reactor. Uh, there's nothing else here, but the SCVs, they can hold their own. Okay. Do fight back. And this is merely phase one. Phase one of just of a two-phase plan. What's phase two? The roaches. Roaches are coming. Six roaches on the way. What is it to defend? Third CC. He's crazy. Uh, this is game. This has this has to be game. Third CC before factory. He's crazy. No factory production. No heli. No cyclo. No banshee because there's no one one one. I mean, beyond he he sees nothing. He's playing blind. I mean, he knows about the pool first, so there is a possibility here of more aggression of the roaches. Ay ay ay. So very bold move. He has vanilla marines. Vanilla marines to defend. And here comes the army. Here comes dark. The Roaches and Ravagers, they're waddling in. And I, I don't I don't see how Bion can survive this. I'll be shocked if he can. I'll be very impressed. Boys are being pulled away. I mean, he has the high ground, true. He does have the high ground. Oh. Gets the first Roach. First Roach goes down, but GG yeah, gets caught. <laughs> As that was a build order win. GG. Dark, it does take a 2-0 lead in the series. 
Oh, GG will play it again. Just a, a very unfortunate turn of events there. Basically, winding it back a little bit. Bjorn, his build was Rax Expand, Marine first into Reactor. Marine into Reactor into a third CC. But what's important is that he made the decision to go for a third CC after he defended the pool first. And that's just, that's a crazy maneuver. One, because it's hyper greedy because you you almost never see third cc before factory so hyper greed out of beyond more importantly he knew that it was a pool first which means there was a possibility he gambled there was a possibility that it would be pool first into roaches that is not an uncommon build especially for dark so ah, beyond he gambled very hard there unfortunately gambled wrong and just like that dark is one game away from making it to the grand finals one game away We go. Here we go. We're getting into game three. And, uh... We'll see. Well, I mean, I'm hoping for a back and forth. I'm hoping for a game four. I'm hoping for a game five. I want a longer series out of this, but ah, uh, the pressure is on Beyond. The pressure is on, and I'm hoping we don't gamble quite like it. We don't need to. That's that's the thing. We don't need to gamble. We're, we're okay. We we can just we just play standard, and we we can we can take it to dark. I want to believe. I want to believe in Beyond, but oh boy, we'll see. <laughs> that's spawning in the bottom left hand corner of ley lines. We have the. South Korean eyes. <laughs> what do they say? We have the South Korean Zerg player, the Blue Zerg, representing Italian Esports, leading the series two to zero. It is dark and spawning in the top right-hand corner. We have opponent. We have the Red Terran player from South Korea, representing Shopify Rebellion. Down in the series, yes, my back here now to have a chance at having an ace match. It is beyond. Oh boy, <laughs> that's just, ay ay ay, not like this, baby, not like this. Let's from here, again, a Rax expand out of Bion. Looking to be a standard opener, but we'll see when he throws down a third CC, so I, I don't want to call anything too quickly. Uh, likewise, Hatch Gas Pool. This is a standard opener out of Dark. After going for a pool first and after committing to a Roach Rush, uh, he's calming things down into a standard opener. Okay. Everything's looking normal from the side of Dark. From the side of Bion, my eyes are on our Terran player here. Does he even go for an SCV Scout? Does he skip the SCV Scout? Does he cut corners? For now, it looks like he is. Okay, so no SCV scout out of Bion. Bold move. Bold move against Dark. Um, but, I mean, I think this gamble makes sense, especially after what happened in the last game. I feel like that does make sense. As he is going to be settling in. Be making workers is going for the racks expand. Reaper is moving out. Thankfully, it's not Marine first, so at least Beyond will get some scouting information. And with this Reaper, he will confirm the standard build. If, of course, if there was a Roach Warren, if there was some aggression coming his way, then at least Beyond will have something to scout and he'll be able to confirm that. So Reaper moves out. And Dark back at home, just being safe and secure, does make an extra pair of links. He does make six links in total, so to four. Oh, threads us around. Let's throw this around. Pulling back. Takes off a Ling. And beyond Maxo. Third base is being taken. Dark joining up. Oh, dancing with the army. Uh, meanwhile, back at home. Beyond going for a third CC. But this is a third CC before Starport. So, on the one hand, yes, he's being economic. But uh, this is standard like economic opener. He's uh, not being too greedy. So, third CC before Starport. Into an adult swap, into most likely Banshee production, and now we can establish and settle into a more standard game. Uh, at least I hope so. Do you hope so? Oh! 
Let's be honest, he does get the tumor. Not bad. Fights with the tumor, does get it. Lings, they get across the map. They get one SCV, just the one. Hellions arrive and the Lings, they back the hell off. Get the hell out of there. Did you get away? <laughs> I'd like to believe that Bjarni's asking for what happened to the Lings and where where they go. Come back, come back, Lings, come back. Uh, if there are any translations in the chat, I would I would appreciate it for sure. I would appreciate any translations for anyone that does speak Hangul. Can somebody that? As Bjarni moves out, dipping between bases, major production has begun. Uh, it's going to be vanilla bread, vanilla banshees. There is no cloak being researched, so Bjorn is going to be too hard into his banshees. Taking off two tumors. Just keeping dark contained. Keeping him contained for now. Likewise, dark getting supply block for a moment. Investing into, what's that, four or five overlords? Jesus. <laughs> overlords on the way. Which was Lair at a reasonable time, and Dark is just settling into the mid game. Bailey Nest gets thrown down. Safety Bailey Nest here by Dark. Lair first into Bailey Nest. Into delayed upgrades. So far, so good. So far, so good. Of course, Bjorn did invest in some additional Hellions, and with this, he can vie for map control, deny some creep tumors. Technically, he could try to dive into a mineral line, but that's usually ill-advised. You don't want to throw away your Hellions, as you can keep them alive. You can actually use them later on for the full push and morph them into Hellbats. They can hold some value. As Banshee's got eyes on the would-be fourth. So far, though, Dark is keeping up. Ellie's at Hogan towards the left-hand side. Likewise, Dark is keeping up as well. Queens do rotate. Queens A rotate over. Getting another, <laughs> getting another. Ah, beyond getting value. Oh, can you delay the CC? Delay, delay the hatchery. You can. It's a kill on the drone. Not bad. Delays the fifth. Behind this building, up towards the spire push. We're reaching the seven minute mark. And ideally, this move out wants to line up with all these upgrades. I'm referring to 1 1. We have 1 1 upgrades on the way. We have combat shields as well. Stim is already done. And it's all lined up for this move out. So a very crisp timing here from Bjorn is designed to hit like a truck and potentially knock down the fourth. Uh, meanwhile, Dark should be ready for this. Uh, he's amassing Ling Bane as we speak, but he doesn't actually have that much of an army. Here we go. Bjorn, he pushes in. And Dark, he's in a bit of trouble here. He does need a little bit more time. Bane is morphing in. Hatchery under fire. Queen's moving forward. Hellbats morph in as well. Hatchery taking a lot of damage. You can see Dark just trying to buy time. Takes the shot to the face. Lings, they attempt to catch reinforcements. Unsuccessful. Unable to. Yeah, as Bjorn pushes forward and Dark, he just evacuates expansion. Is he going to save it? Lings, they hit the third. Ah, they run into a brick wall. Beyond so far all over this. Go for the expansion. Barely doesn't get it, but a couple more shots and it should go down. And yeah, eventually it will fall. It will crumble. Let's pick up here from Bjorn. Dark being very patient. Building back up. Collapsing on the army. Goes for the surround. He will collapse on the tanks as well. 
Wolverines. The tanks will fall. Nice clean up here by Dark, but he did lose the expansion. Oh, uh, the move command. The move command is a little bit too soon. We'll clean up the tanks. Just cal calm down, Dark. Don't calm down. Right, the Banshees, they do hit the most expansion. No spore. Ah, there are Hydras. Thankfully, there are Hydras. Beyond, once again, rotating over. Does spot the expansions. Does spot the bases. Supplies are still very close. Thanks, Del Season Time. Dark has to respect this. Three bailings are denied. And Dark does not have enough bailings. He's going to try to collapse in. Comes in for a surround. No bailings, though. The Marines, they can stand their ground. And they trade well against the Lings. Forced to pick up. Forced to pick up, though. Regardless, that could have been so much worse if there were just a handful of bailings there for Dark. Towards the expansion. Dark collapsing forward, fading out those mine shots. Oof. Even forcing a bit of friendly fire. Wooden mines are cleaned up at the same time. Bionni hits another expansion, and Dark is out of position. Our drones are going down. Dark is being pulled apart. And Bion, this may just be too much. As he's going for the base. Up. Oh. Comes back at it. Expansion barely lives. Our vibe is not ready. Need a little bit more time. Marines are cleaned up. Stark is gathering energy, but again, he has no creep. The problem here is just very limited creep spread here for Dark. He has no vision of what's coming his way. He lunges forward. Gets the medevac. Mine's just going off, forcing friendly fire. I mean, these are good trades, better trades, I should say. For Dark. Been better trades. Where I start cleaning up at least the tank. Uh, drilling coolest has been researched. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, it has been. Has been researched. Dark has a back up. Both players are maxing out. I mean, this still could go either way. 3-3 three, three on the horizon for Bion. Vipers are in the mix. They can't always blight in cloud or throw down those power bombs. They could be an answer to these medevacs. There's a lunge. Oof. Mine shots are brutal. Power bombs connect. And more mine shots are about to be going off. Oh, the friendly fire. Oh, my God. The drag. I uh, likewise. Connections here on the Ling Bane. Both players take a lot of hits. Dark back Hermie does the fan. He's keeping up with the draw play, barely keeping up with Bion. And I believe the Vipers, they survived. Yeah, the Vipers, they can gather energy once again. Reese to go for that expansion. Yeah, they go for another. They go for the natural. The Bailin S even. Lurker tech is ready. Lurker upgrades finishing up. Nidus room on the way. Dark is looking comfortable here. Now with Lurkers, he can have more, a more secure defense, and likewise can also try to go for Night Swarm into the main. Let's see if he can pull it off. As that would be a kill move. Lurkers, they set up. Up. Oh, army steps in. The whole position. The whole position. Lurkers. He's crazy. And there we go. He does activate the Lurkers. Oof. Yeah, Lurker shots going off. Two Lurkers survive. They catch out the Marines. Thank thankfully for Bion, he was pre-split. He was pre-split. That could have been so much worse. But regardless, we do see that Bion is on the run. At the same time, back at home, Bion is going for the expansion. But alas, Dark, he will defend. He keeps up. Do 
see the drops here back at home. They're being cleaned up. Darkie's holding on. Likewise, look at Rassi to the mineral line. Oh my god. Yeah, he's within range as he starts going down. Here come the snipes, though. Those have arrived. And he has the ghost. Once again, high ground vision. Looks like with these snipes, the final lurker should be cleaned up, though. There's one lurker left. Still no nice into the main. Nidus on the front lines. A bold move here by Dark. Maintains these lurkers. Oh my, the spine shots are insane. Spine shots going off. And Dark is that he goes for the third. I'll take some angels to the face. On oh, the Vipers! Starts going off, they catch the Vipers. Leagues, they bust into the mineral line. This is a bit of a chaotic fight here for Dark, not ideal. They yeah, bled out the Vipers. Rough fight here for Dark. Leagues out the Vipers. Leagues, they try to force play the fire, they will. And Dark, he lunges the hell out of there and gets out. Wants none of that. Pulls away, denies mining. Gets 14 SCV kills. Oh! Wants to get a lunging forward, gets another medevac. But I feel like, yeah, Dark, he's, ble he's bleeding out too much. He has to calm things down, has to back off. Needs a moment to consolidate his army, take more bases, get his economy back up and running. He's on 71 drones. And you can see him now taking extra gases. As Dark, he is gas starved. He needs a little bit more time here to build up more, more lurkers, more bailings, more gas intensive units. Once again, the minefield is set up at the third. Lake run by runs into the winter mines. <laughs> Thankfully, Dark pulls away. Gets out of there. Lurkers on position. Oh my god, no! He walks in! No! Fion! Walks into the lurkers! Not like this! Yeah, getting caught with his pants down. Good mind shots though on the links. And on the bailings! But the planetary is under fire. Lurkers within range. SMEs are going down. The base falls. And Fion, he cannot sustain these losses. Dark, he maxes out. And coming into this series, I was expecting a back and forth. I mean, Beyond and Dark, they do trade. They do trade series and they do trade games. But here, Dark, he is on fire. He 2-0'd Clem. And now he's looking at 3 0 Beyond. And Dark, he is on fire. Pushing forward, getting on top of the, uh, getting on top of the ghost. And looking to get on top of the expansion as well. GG gets called Dark. He will take the series 3-0 so far undefeated. So far, perfect score as Dark advances on to the Grand Finals. GG. Oh my god. Crazy. GG. Well played, Dark. He takes the 3-0 and we have our finals set in stone. Oh boy. Let's quickly have a look at the... Okay, let's, ah, let's quickly switch our scenes and have a look at the bracket itself. Here we go. It's going to be a best of seven finals as from the top we had Shin. Shin took down Zhaon 2 to 1. He took down Hero 3 to 2. Ace matches. Ace matches all around. It's been a, it's been a rocky road here for Shin, but he has made it to the finals. Um, has fought very hard for it in the ZVP matchup, but Shin has made it. Meanwhile, scoring down, Dark 2 0s Clem. He 3 0s Bian, and now we have a ZVZ finals here between Shin and Dark. Let's go. This is going to be a rematch. Fun fact, we casted these two facing off in SEL in the StarCraft Evolution League, where we had a banger of a ZVZ. We had a Guardians versus Hydro Lurker Viper. It was crazy. It was insane, the kind of matchup that we had before us. But here we're back on SE2. We're back in SE2. Very different dynamic compared to the StarCraft Evolution uh, kind of series that we did have instead. And we'll see. We'll see. If history repeats itself or if Shin gets his revenge as we're getting ready for that best of seven. Now, we do need some time for our players to get their cameras ready and their cameras rolling. Bearing in mind, they are using cams for the main feed, for the mainstream. So, they do need some time and we are more than happy to give them that time. So, for now, we're going to be going in a short break. And when we come back, we will have the final series of the night. See you soon. See you soon.